Hello and welcome to Me, My Suit and Tie. My name's Sebastian and today I'm going to be taking you through the perfect way to iron your shirt in seven simple steps. Enjoy! Okay, you will need three basic things when ironing a shirt. Number one, you will need an ironing board. Number two, you will need an iron. And number three, you will need fairly adequate hand-to-eye coordination. So step one, make sure that your iron is clean. Also, that it's set to the correct heat setting for your shirt. The correct heat setting can be found on the label on the inside. This will usually be signified by the image of an iron, which will have either one, two or three dots. You want to make sure that you match that with the temperature gauge on the iron. Okay, step two, iron the cotter of your shirt. First things first, make sure you remove any cotter stiffeners that may be there. And then making sure that you really use the steam of your iron to break down the fibers in the material. Iron one side, flip it over, and then iron the other. Step three, iron the cuff of your shirt. So you wanna start off by unbuttoning the sleeves completely and then just using the point of your iron, the tip of your iron, ironing one side, again flipping it over and ironing the other. You want to be careful not to iron too close to the edge because that way you will lose any sort of bounce in the cuff and remove some of the body. Step four, iron the front of your shirt. Make sure you start off with the side that has the buttons on it and using the point of your iron, work your way around the buttons. Try not to iron on top of the buttons because you're likely to melt them. Work your way up, one side, and then over to the other. Five, iron the back of your shirt. You want to make sure that you start off at the top this area here, which is called the yoke of the shirt, it's like that material um, behind the shoulders, across the back, slowly putting the iron down until you've ironed the rest of it. Step six, iron the sleeve of your shirt. The trick here is to make sure that the material is lying dead flat and straight. If this is done properly and correctly, you will only actually need to iron one side of the arm and therefore speed up your ironing time quite considerably. Step seven and the final step, hang your shirt up. Don't put it on straight away. What you want to do is to allow the fibers to cool and to set in that shape that you've ironed into it. This will help that shirt to last all day long. Cool. 